Hello friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art and I'm back today to share a really pretty, clean and simple graduation card. Um, graduations are happening all over the place right now and I think we're kind of coming to the end, but I think the parties will start for this summer. So I wanted to give you kind of a fun idea for a graduation card using some um, product from the brand new annual Stampin' Up! catalog. So we're going to be using the stamp set called Painted Poppies. This is an oldie but a goodie. And um, it has coordinating dies that will cut out the poppy shape and the leaves that we're going to be using. This is not a bundle. These are sold separately. Um, the painted labels dies and the painted poppies stamp set. They do coordinate though. So we're going to be using these. And then we're also going to be using a brand new stamp set in the annual catalog called Through It Together. This stamp set has some really beautiful sentiments, 21 sentiments. And they're all kind of um, simple, you know, normal sentiments like thank you or get well soon, but then they have some really sweet and special ones like may your comeback be stronger than your setback and uh, stay strong, my friend. They're just some really great encouragement uh, sentiments. And so two we're going to be using are follow your dreams for the front and then we're going to be do using you are capable of great things for the inside. And I just thought that would be a really nice way to send somebody off to college. So um, we're going to be also using a panel of Tasteful Textile 3D Embossed uh, cardstock. And the colors today are Poppy Parade and Granny Apple Green. So we're going to start with a base card in basic white. And it's just a normal top folding base card. We're going to add on a layer um, of the texture, the Tasteful Textured Embossing panel. So this is just going to be layered flat to the card. Okay. I also cut a panel out of soft sea foam using one of the this like little postage die from the snails dies. It's kind of fun to mix and match the different uh, elements and I really like this little panel. So we're going to add this layer and then we're going to stamp the sentiment, one of the sentiments, the outside one, in Memento Black ink. I'm just going to move that over here. Oops, try that again. There we go. And then um, we'll set this aside for a second. We're going to be stamping on the inside of the card today. So we're going to take one of the poppy image and we're going to ink that up in black ink and just stamp it off kind of on the edge like that. Then we're going to take the uh, poppy parade ink and there's this artsy little um, splotch stamp and we're going to ink that up in poppy parade, stamp it off once and then stamp it over top of the poppy that we stamped. And then I'm going to take the inside sentiment and stamp that here inside the card. You are capable of great things. So that's pretty. Now the inside is all decorated. And then we're going to do something similar for the outside. So we're going to take our little piece of basic white cardstock and we're going to take that poppy again and stamp that in black. And then we'll take the um, Poppy Parade and ink up this little smush kind of watercolor thing. Stamp it off once and stamp it onto the poppy. And it's just meant to be like a little watercolor um, on there. Then we're going to take the Granny Apple Green and we're going to stamp two leaves, two of these leaves in black. And we're going to take the Granny Apple Green ink and then there's a little um, splotch for the um, green as well just to add a, a little bit of um, splattered color to the leaves and then we're going to take our scissors our little snips here and we're going to cut these out now um, you saw that there are dies that coordinate with this so if you don't like to fussy cut by all means use the dies because you know it just makes everything kind of quick and easy I actually like to fussy cut I find it very relaxing I think it's because I'm focusing on what I'm doing and paying attention. So it kind of blocks some of the noise out from my thoughts. I don't know, but I do like working on, uh, I like to hand cut. 
as long as it's fairly simple, and these are actually very simple. I'm just gonna cut these out. And it goes pretty quickly. I just leave a tiny white border along the edge. Like that. And then I'll do the same for the leaves. I'm not too worried about that little stem because it's gonna be underneath anyway. I'm just kind of moving the cardstock as I cut. I'm trying to hold my scissors you know, still and just move the cardstock as I close them. And one more. Okay, that should do it. Just put that aside. And now we can finish putting the card together. So we'll bring the card base back in. And we're going to add dimensional adhesive to the back of this flower. And I'm just going to kind of tuck this over here to the side of the little uh, square. And then I'm going to add the sentiment with some adhesive. But I'm going to trim the end of it like this, kind of at an angle. And then I'm going to add some adhesive on here. like that. And then we'll tuck the leaves in with more adhesive. I just think this is such a pretty graduation card for a young lady. So we're going to add some little pearls. These are the basic uh, pearl, the pearl basic jewels. And um, I think I'll add kind of a medium one up here. And then a couple of little ones, maybe one down here and then one here on the sentiment. Kind of tuck it under the flower a little bit. So that's that. And that's the card for today. So follow your dreams and then when you open it, there's another poppy and you are capable of great things. I just think this is really pretty. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching today. If you'd like the supplies to make this card, they will be listed in the bottom, um, like the description of the video. Um, you'll also be able to see closer you know, pictures of these close up over on Queen City Stamp Art. And if you'd like to order these supplies, please use the June host code um, printed right here and go to Christine Vicente at stamp, uh, Christine Vicente .net. Thanks so much.